basketball families. I'm Coach Anthony Reed with Hoopcasters. In today's lecture, I'm going to increase your family's hoop skills IQ. This class is designed for basketball parents as well as beginners. We think that parents should and could learn more about the game, and we're going to provide you with the tools and the resources necessary to increase your hoop skills IQ. I'm going to be your instructor, Coach Anthony Reed. Here's a little bit more about my background. Okay, basketball families, we understand that if we're going to increase your family's hoop skills IQ, it is important that we make sure everyone understands the basic rules of the game. Every basketball game starts with a tip. The team that takes possession of the ball has 24 seconds to shoot or a 24 shot clock violation is called and the other team is awarded the ball. Teams are made up of 15 players with five players on the court at any given time. Could be more or less depending on your league, but as a standard, there are 15 players on a team. Teams consist of two guards, two forwards, and of course, a center. The official size of a basketball court is 50 feet wide by 94 feet long. The rim as a standard is 10 feet high and of course youth rims are usually lowered to around 8 feet. There are two ways to move the ball on the court. You can either dribble the ball around the floor or you can pass the ball to a teammate. Those are the only two ways to move the ball on the court. If you score inside this arc, you get two points. If you score outside this arc, you get three points. If an offensive player is fouled while shooting a two-pointer and he makes it, he gets one shot. If he misses while shooting a two-pointer, then that player gets two shots. If a player commits a foul while the offensive player is in the act of shooting a three-pointer, the offensive player will shoot three shots if he misses and one shot if he makes it. The defense is constantly trying to take the ball away either by blocking shots or stealing the ball. There are no ties in basketball. If the score is tied at the end of regulation, overtime will be played to determine a winner. Those are the basic concepts of the game. Now let's discuss fouls and violations. Violations generally occur when you break one of these rules. Let's take a look at the most common violation that you see most often, which is double dribble. In basketball, you're only allowed to stop once before passing the ball or shooting the ball. If a player starts to dribble again, it's called double dribble. As you can see in the video, the player stops dribbling now he has to either pass the ball to a teammate or shoot the ball. In this situation, the player chooses to pass the ball. The second most common violation is traveling. If a player takes more than two steps without dribbling the ball, it's called traveling. This is a lot easier to see in person, but for the most part, you can't just run down the floor without dribbling the ball. As we discussed, you either have to dribble the ball or pass the ball. Then we have the three second violation. This area on the court right here is called the paint. No offensive player can stay in this area of the court for more than three seconds. They will have to step outside of the paint and then step back in to avoid a three second violation. It's called charging. 
charging is when a player runs into a defender who has established a spot on the court. In this case, the spot belongs to the defender in red. He owns that spot because he got there first. Charging is called when the offensive player runs into this player, and as a result, the other team is awarded the ball. And those are the basic rules of the game. Now let's discuss common fouls. Blocking foul is when the defensive player did not get there in time. In this case, the defending red may not have established that position, and that is called blocking. And that is a foul. If he had gotten there earlier, then of course, it would have been a charge on the offensive player. Next, let's discuss the defensive foul. Here you'll see the defender steps on the offensive player's hand. That is a defensive foul. You can see right here, he clearly steps on the player's hand. The referee is going to call that sometime. Next, we have the offensive foul. Offensive fouls occur in this particular situation as you're looking at on the screen. The offensive player swipes the defensive player's hands. This is a close call. Some referees may or may not call this, but it is clearly an offensive foul. It is more commonly noticed when a player is attacking the basket and he swipes the defender's hands away. That is called an offensive foul. Then we have the flagrant foul. A flagrant foul occurs when the offensive player or defensive player strikes someone in a terrible way. In this particular case, he strikes the defender in the throat. This is clearly a flagrant foul. The last foul we're going to discuss today is a technical foul. This coach looked like he's upset. He's probably going to get a technical foul. Those are the basic rules of the game. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. We're going to be releasing new content all the time.